hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create routing navigation as well as object passing from one page to another page so we are going to pass some content like name address from one page to another page within the xamarin form cell page with the help of routing navigation so let's start this tutorial we have one cell page as I have already discussed about the cell page creation inside my Xamarin forms project so I don't want to extend it more so this is basically a simple cell page which has a flow direction from right to left and it has a header section you can see over here this is the header section and this is the body section which has two pages so page 1 and page 2 so this page 1 and page 2 are inside my views folder that is page 1 and page 2 these are basically content page now home page is my cell page so in order to know the exact location where my pages are with the help of this page views we are going to tell that it's inside my main project views folder now our page 1 contains basic level you can see over here which has this is a page 1 and uh, we are going to create one button inside our page 1 whenever user clicks on page 1 button then it goes to page 1 details page so whenever this button is clicked inside our click handler we are going to navigate to page 1 details with the help of routing so let's create page 1 details So this is basically a content page whenever from page 1 button is clicked with the help of routing we are going to navigate to page 1 details so we will take help of routing dot register route then the name of the details page here we are going to register our details page that is page 1 details and it has two properties that is name of and type of so our details page should be registered inside the routing at first in order to create the navigation then our next part is to navigate from our page 1 to page 2 with the help of await cell dot cell dot current dot go to async then we'll repeat the same name of the details page in order to navigate to page 1 details now we can run our project in order to check whether we can navigate from our page 1 to page 1 details page or not so this is how we're gonna navigate from our page 1 to page 1 details page now our next task is to send the content from our page 1 to page 1 details so in order to create that task i have created one class name as person and name and address are my two attributes that are going to be associated so this is the same class name from here which is inherited from our models folder you can see over there and with the help of this object i can access name and address so these are some hard coded contents that will be associated in order to pass the contents from page 1 to page 1 details right now we should serialize and convert it into string so in order to do that we should add a newtonsoft.json inside our shared android and ios project so we are going to convert this object to serialize string and this string is going to be passed to page one details page so we need to remove this condition and then add this condition in order to pass our serialized content from our page 1 to page 1 details here you can see content equals to json string serialized content so after we serialize our object we'll get it in the form of string then this string is going to be added to the content path now this page 1 details should grab all the contents from our page 1 so in order to do that we'll be using some basic mbbm binding where page 1 details is going to be associated with our view model so in order to do that 
I need to add binding context equals new the view model. So this is basically a very simple MBBM binding. This view model is basically a class that is detail view model class which will be called over here. And let's inherit inside our page one details. Now we have binded our page one details with our page one detail view model. Now our next objective is to get all the contents from our detail view model with the help of binding name and address. But our name and address are inside our page one. You can see over here we have added name and address which gets serialized and with the help of this path it goes to our details view model and from the details view model we are going to send it to page one details it is basically a mbvm binding that's all now this query parameter you can see over here it's associated with jamrin forms let me remove that so you have clear picture so query parameter is associated with jamrin forms namespace now you can see over the content so this content name should be same inside our details view model query parameter then only we can achieve or grab our string that was serialized this is basically a binding object that gets inherited in order to do some property changed so this content will be called over here and is do all its query parameters everything and then we will get our serialized content with the help of this code you don't need to go more deep into that after it gets all its content then it will perform the operation that is inside the method so this is basically a name and address that is a public property so our page one details will get its name and address after operation is complete that is perform operation that is contained so name and address are going to be like the mediator to get content and then send it to the view so this is the perform operation that happens whenever our query parameter get serialized content you can see over here this is the serialized content that we will get then with the help of this method we are again going to deserialize our serialized content so whatever goes in that comes out so from the page one we are going to send the serialized content that is the object this is the class which i am going to serialize now inside the view model 2 in order to get that contents i need to deserialize with the help of same class so this is the name as well as address that are associated with the serialized content and with the help of this name and address basic mbbm binding name and address are going to be sent back to the page one details dot xaml that is our view this is the page one detail with the help of name and address to a binding we are going to send name and address from our details view model to our views let's quickly run our project Whenever this button is clicked, then from our page one to page one details, we are going to grab all the contents. That's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.